Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today it's a very special day because I have something quite special to unbox with you. A few days ago, this got into my mail and I've been kind of sick since then. But now I feel good enough to do this unboxing with you guys. I'm also live on Twitch, so I really wanted to share this moment on Twitch as well as on YouTube. And yeah, let's do it. It is time. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I can't believe this, this actually happened. Drum roll, please. Five years later. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and it's all black. Okay, okay. And we have a little letter. <gasps> you guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so cool. It's so shiny. Look at it, you guys. Presented to Noelle de Sanchez for passing 100k subscribers. Oh, hello. Hello there. Hello, Twitch. Say hi guys. This is so awesome, so awesome. I think I'm blushing a little. <laughs> I want to say thank you to all of you for taking me to this point. Um, of course, the plaque itself is amazing. It's beautiful, it's shiny. It's gonna be very nice in my wall or in, or in a shelf. But what it represents, it's what really blows my mind that a hundred thousand people decided to subscribe to this YouTube channel and decided to learn more about me, about what I do, either guitar cover or acoustic cover or a vlog or a reaction video. I don't know what brought you here, but I am so thankful that you decided to click that button to know more about me and about what I do. Either you're here for years or you're just arriving, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I absolutely love everything that I do in music and of course also here on YouTube and on my Twitch channel and my social media. And I also say I want to say a big thank you to Cording, my moderator and editor, who actually brought a little bit of spark in me to get back to YouTube. Last year he started out um, editing my videos for YouTube. That was the motivation I needed to go for it and get back to YouTube. And I'm really trying hard now to be more um, consistent with my videos on YouTube. And also want to say big thanks to my patrons. Many of my patrons also came from YouTube. Thank you for supporting me in this way. I really hope to bring more covers, more band content. I play in two bands now. I play in Cobra Spell and Nongara. And I plan to bring vlogs and content from both bands to this channel as well, as well as reactions, discovering new music and new bands with you guys. And now we're gonna go into the second part of this video, which is the Q&A. Welcome to the second part of this video where I'm gonna be answering your questions. Thank you everyone who took the time to send me a message to ask me something, I appreciate it. So let's jump right into them. Did you get into metal by yourself or by someone else? This one comes from Schnatzel. What got me into metal was a very specific album that literally changed the whole thing for me, made me start listening to metal and fall in love with the genre. It was Wishmaster by Nightwish. That album, so, 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 so good. It literally blew my mind when I heard it for the first time and I fell completely in love with Nightwish. I haven't seen before a band that were doing what they were doing, blending metal music with symphonic and like orchestra and this operatic voice. I haven't seen that before and that was just like perfection for me. I fell in love and of course my taste in metal changed after a while and developed and I started liking different things but that was really the beginning of it all. Hi Noeli, two questions really. What was your first guitar and when did you start to play? I started to play in 2009 and the first guitar I have was a Memphis Tajima. I'm gonna look for a picture to put it somewhere here and that guitar was a second-hand guitar 
it costed me 100 reais, which would translate to around $25 or so. <laughs> it was a very, very cheap guitar and it was a bit crappy to be honest, but it was where it all started. Congratulations, Noeli, for how long have you been playing guitar and on how many bands have you been since Salve to Brazil and BS29 local band? Alexandre Machado, thank you so much for your question. Um, salve, Salve Brasil e BS29. Beijão. The first band I've ever played was Last Room, was a thrash metal band back in Brazil. And then this band dissolved and then two members from this band started something else. Unfortunately, this project didn't go very far. And already here in Berlin, I played in Scarlet Circle a couple of years, also in Alcoholica for a couple of years. Then in 2019, I started Nungara and in 2022, I joined Cobra Spell. What's the one thing you miss the most about Brazil apart from family? Asks Pio. A uh, very good question for you. Um, I am from Brazil and I'm currently living in Berlin, Germany, and I absolutely miss my family. Other than them, my friends from school, from uni, and from other walks and parts of my life, really miss them deeply. And apart from that, I miss a lot the sun and the ocean back in Brazil. I come from a coastal city called João Pessoa and over there I grew up going to the beach. So it was something that you just do. Everything surrounds the beach. I miss the sounds of the waves crushing. I miss the smell of the sea. I miss just going to the beach and soaking in the sun and just getting lost inside the water. It's just so magical and nostalgic now. It was such a big part of my life and now that I'm so far from this environment, I, I miss it so much. I see how important and how big it was in my life. But I can't wait, guys, I can't wait to go to Brazil. I'm going to Brazil very soon and I can't wait to go to the beach. I Nobody, nobody's taking me away from the water. I received multiple questions about where I am from, what's my nationality, what's my ethnicity. Um, as I said, I am from Brazil, from João Pessoa, Paraíba, and about my ethnicity, I would say I am one-third South American, one-third African, and one-third mermaid. <laughs> But seriously, I took a DNA test and I plan to make a video here on the channel um, sharing it with you guys, just so we know what exactly makes a Noeli. When you will release a full album for Nungara, just heard a single and I want to listen more by In Hell. Wow, thank you so much. I'm so happy you enjoyed our single and a full length album is not exactly in the plans for the band right now, but... An EP featuring four new songs is in the plan and in the workings for this year. I can't wait for you guys to hear it. Keep an eye out. Hi Noeli, my name is Christian Luna. My questions are, at what age did you start playing the guitar and what was the first song you learned? You rock. No, you rock. I started to play the guitar with 20 years old in 2009 and the first entire song I learned, including the solo, was probably NIB by Black Sabbath. And I say this because when you're starting out, it's totally normal, guys, to learn just bits and pieces of songs you, you like, but not exactly have the technique enough to play a whole song this is totally normal so don't beat up yourself if you cannot play a full song it takes time to get all the techniques in place so you can play an entire piece so don't worry about this just learn what really fires you up that's the most important thing to go where your passion is leading you and then slowly you can start building up your technique so you can play a full song but know that it takes time and it's totally normal what is your favorite effects pedal and why congratulations grdx thank you so much my currently favorite pedal is the line 6 pod go it is a multi effect unit and i absolutely love it it has pretty much everything that I need in terms of effects. It has the wah, wah it has the pitch shifter, like the, the whammy. It has, of course, delay, chorus, overdrive, um, reverbs, 
everything you can imagine and you can also upload your own impulse responses which is pretty nice it does have some limitations that um, annoy me if you can work around those things it's pretty pretty good but yeah at the moment it's still my favorite one how do you take care of your hair nice curls by psycho jerry thank you thank you so much so many of you guys asked about my hair how i take care of it which products i use and all of that i'm very happy about this because my hair is my favorite part of my body i absolutely love it i love the touch of it i love how it looks i love the smell oh wow <laughs> And it's crazy to think because growing up, my hair was one of my biggest insecurities. It didn't look nice because I didn't know how to treat it. I didn't know how to take care of it. It was always very tangled and dry and frizzy and I just, just hated it so much. But with a lot of time and effort, I grew to love my hair. I learned how to take care of it because curly hair is totally different than straight hair. So you really have to put a little bit of time to understand understand how it works. I could talk about hair for seven days and seven nights, but one tip that I can give you right now is use and learn how to apply a leave-in conditioner. You really would like to have a leave-in conditioner in your hair after showering. This is very, very important, guys. This one thing completely changed the definition of my hair, how it looked, how it felt. So I would suggest you to go out there, buy a leave-in conditioner and try to go to YouTube. There are many ways of applying leave-in conditioner in your hair. So try different ways of application. Try different products because every product will have a different effect in your hair. And slowly but surely, you will figure out what actually works in your hair. Best of luck! Loving your curls. They are awesome. They are awesome. How much lead or rhythm guitar will you do on the next Cobra Spell album for Napalm Records. Excited to hear it. This one comes from Curtis Mercer. Thank you so much for your question, Curtis. A lot of this album was previously already written by Sonia and the songs are sounding so nice, you guys. I can't wait for you guys to hear. But I'm still contributing with the songs, with the lyrics and with some leads. So keep an eye out for that. It is okay if I make you a couple of silver pendants this summer by L. Cheris. I would absolutely love that. I love to use jewelry. I love receiving things from you guys, either a fan mail or a little gift. I think it's so adorable and I feel so flattered. So I'm gonna leave down below my P.O. box. You guys can take a look. And I also open the packages I receive from you guys on stream. Makes it even more exciting. <laughs> What's your favorite guitar brand, shape, and will you ever jam a Jackson on stage? By Mark Flo. I absolutely love Schecter guitars. I have some over here, but I'm really open to experiment and try new guitars. I'm getting in touch with some friends. And yes, why not? Maybe one day you see me rocking a Jackson. And about the shape, I absolutely love Telecasters, Les Paul's, the Super Strato shape, and the Explorers. Those were the questions I selected for today's Q&A. I want to thank you all for sending me a message and sending me questions. I appreciate it so, so much. I'm thinking about doing one of these Q&As every month. I think that would be a very nice way to connect with you guys. Thank you once more and have a fantastic day. Ciao!